in the same boat as y'all i was scrolling on youtube how to get over a breakup how to break up my boyfriend you know what you're gonna do you know what you want to do at least it is okay to leave a man even if he did nothing wrong oh wait this is kind of nice like i don't think i ever want to date again <laughs> yourself enough to be enough hey vlog it's kirsten and i'm back for another video all right i'm sorry if y'all like go out of focus i'm like trying to keep y'all in focus with me right now and not the sunlight in the back anyways i've been wanting to touch on this topic for a long time now it's just i really wanted to heal myself and really figure it out myself before i come out here on the internet and try and share with other people i'm about to be real real quick um i me and my boyfriend of three years we split a few months back but we finally like called it officially quits only a few weeks ago um no contact all of that and it's like being very real right now so yeah mind y'all we had broken up but we had stayed in contact so technically we kind of like naturally reverted back to our old ways reverted back to what we're used to doing which ultimately like what's the point of breaking up if you're just gonna keep doing what you've been doing right so we finally did cut quits completely i would say like probably two three months ago now so it's been a few months so i do have a few tips tricks stuff like that that i want to share with y'all and like what's helped me get through this because i was in the same boat as y'all i was scrolling on youtube how to get over a breakup how to break up my boyfriend how to leave him um how do i do what's best for me how do i know what's best for me literally clicking on every single video watching every single video that i can imagine some of them were helpful others not so much but the main key takeaway i want y'all to understand from this is that you're looking and you're seeking advice that you already know for yourself you're seeking advice that like you know what's best for you you know what you're gonna do you know what you want to do at least but you're just trying to have somebody validate that so i just want you to keep that in mind as watching this video is that you're looking for something specific um you just want somebody to validate your feelings because you already know what you want to do you already know what's the plan you already know you just have to be brave enough and you have to love yourself enough to do it and to actually follow through so let's hop right into this video i have quite a few notes here i see me looking down at my ipad it's because all of my notes okay all right, so let's hop into the very first step of the breakup process is deciding that you are officially done and that you want better for yourself, whether that's because they did something bad, they cheated, or honestly, you're just choosing better. And I feel like the biggest piece of advice I wish other people would have told me growing up is that it is okay to leave a man, even if he did nothing wrong. Like you don't have to have, there doesn't have to be a reason why you left him as in, oh, he did this wrong to me or he made me feel like this or um, he did me down bad that I have to leave him. Like, no, you can honestly just choose that you want better for yourself and choose that, oh, I'm done settling for this and I want better and you can just leave. Like there doesn't have to be this big fallout, this big fight, this big argument. No, you can just leave. I'm just choosing better for me. Um, and that comes to my point number two is that you have to love yourself enough. Um, and I honestly do recommend whether you've already broken up with your boyfriend or you're planning on it or thinking about it, definitely write down all the qualities that you want in your future husband and future father to your kids if you want to have kids. Um, write down those qualities and then just compare in your head like, okay, did he match those or does he match those qualities? And if it's a no, that kind of that kind of helps you, kind of gives you your answer to just kind of be like, okay, let me just drop it and move on. But if it's a maybe, you can't really look at potential. You have to look at what you see now. That's another thing is don't fall for potential, but fall for what's face value. Like take everything at face value. Don't look at potential. Oh, he could be this. Oh, he could be a great man. But is he right now? No, no, no. That's tip number two is just honestly figure out exactly what you want and who you want to be with. And yeah. Get into the whole getting over a breakup part because that part that's the real reason why we're here okay um so i'm gonna just be real honest getting over a breakup is not easy it might even feel like the end of the world but trust me it is not these feelings are very temporary they're definitely gonna go away you just have to give it time you have to be very patient with yourself okay you have to treat yourself like a newborn baby like you have to you know be like okay it's gonna be okay like you, you have to call yourself okay so my number one tip from healing from a heartbreak is not to go and distract yourself with other men so to just focus on yourself i know some people do recommend Oh yeah, go talk to other guys, get your mind off of it. It all just depends on like where you're at in your healing journey and how long or how much you need to recover after your last relationship. I always believe in healing first before doing anything else. Um, 
yeah you have to really figure out exactly what you want in the future exactly what you're willing to settle for exactly what you're willing to compromise for i should say instead of settle if you leave this one relationship and then hop into something immediately after or go seeking other people immediately after like you're not healed you know what i'm saying like all the problems that you had in your past relationship you might even just carry that on into your new one and it's going to be the same exact cycle of repeating and repeating and repeating so healing is just so important and really prioritizing yourself during this time is so important because you're fragile okay you've been through this traumatic thing your heart's broken you're upset you might not even be necessarily sad about leaving him but you're just feeling a little alone a little empty a little you know you just have all these feelings okay and that is okay that's so valid and if you did the breaking up it is okay to still feel sad you're allowed to feel sad because you're choosing what's best for you people love to say oh yeah if you do the breaking up then you have no right to be sad but like no babe i have every right to be sad because you know ultimately you were with this person for however long you still have feelings for them like you still love them in a sense but like you don't want to be with them and like you still have to grieve that relationship so giving yourself time to grieve and to process and to really just dig deep and sit with yourself is so important um i feel like that honestly has helped me the most is really just pouring all the energy that i would have poured into my relationship back into myself and when i tell you i have so much free time i'm like girl wait this is kind of nice like i don't think i ever want to date again <laughs> i just have so much free time and so much time i really just like focus on my goals and my dreams like literally i wake up every morning and i'm like okay what do i want to do today like everything's on my timing i don't have to worry about checking in with anybody i don't have to worry about holding these conversations arguing oh, especially i don't have to worry about it okay i don't have to worry about it all i have to do is wake up and focus on myself and just pour and build into myself practicing self-love is important and self-care so definitely take yourself out on the dates you know what i'm saying buy yourself the flowers um Go to the gym, move your body, focus on your mental health, read your Bible. Um, personally, I've been waking up in the morning, five, six, I'll just depend on the time I wake up and going to the gym. And that has been like the best form of self-care for myself is because I'm able to get up in the morning and not be stuck in bed, go to the gym, come back, shower, and then really just like pour all of my time and energy into myself um that's been so amazing and then like at nights i'm able to like sit in my bed put on my show read a book if i feel like it literally just like everything i get to pick for myself and i'm loving it here i'm like honestly i don't know if i ever want a man in my space ever again <laughs> you really have to heal yourself first before you jump into something else like that's the whole point heal first and then jump love yourself first and then go basically give yourself everything that you're seeking out of a relationship so whenever a relationship does happen or does come you're not like oh my god this is the best thing ever you bought me flowers like honey that's almost like the bare minimum but i digress and honestly that is also so important is like really just setting out your intentions and like your standards and what kind what you're looking for so whenever somebody's son does come along and they're giving you the absolute bare minimum you're not taken away and like oh this is the best thing ever and it's like honey it's not really the kind of man you want you know what i'm saying like be for real like actually think about yourself for a second so yeah i definitely love being in my single season so far it is amazing i love this time that i'm able to spend with myself and i'm able to like focus on all my other relationships around me um that's really been amazing like seeing that part of it just kind of like blossom because other relationships outside of a romantic one are so important having those fostering those and growing those that's honestly been more enjoyable than anything at the moment so yeah my little tips tricks and stuff to like get over a breakup it's honestly just focusing on yourself self love be selfish you're young you're beautiful even if you're not young like you deserve the absolute world and you're gonna find that someday and let's move on let's be better let's become better and let's attract the man of our dreams because ultimately if you want it you can get it so yeah just love yourself enough to walk away love yourself enough to let go and love yourself enough to be enough anyways thanks for watching today's video um i feel like i was kind of rambling so hopefully i did hit on like some good points y'all can take away it's just i would have loved to um have heard these things a few months back when i was looking for videos on like okay what am i gonna do now like how do i move past this point yeah i hope this does help out somebody in their whole journey just remember that these feelings are temporary and you will be okay and thanks for watching today's video i'll see y'all in the next bye